Recently, Fadi El Salamin from Palestine Note had the chance to visit some leading companies in Palestine to meet two brilliant women who are contributing to the region's new entrepreneurial atmosphere. In Ramallah, Fadi spoke with Diala Sade at Sahim Trading and Investment Company. Hi, I'm Fadi El Salamin with Palestine Note. I'm here today with Diala Sade, the Vice President of Global Operations for Sahim Trading and Investment Company. Diala, thank you for being with us today. Hi, Fadi. Welcome to Palestine. Thank you. Uh, Dia, you you just returned from London to take this position. Why did you make that decision? How? What made you decide to leave London and come back to Palestine? What was the attractiveness of the opportunity? Um, and, and do you think this is something that you should be telling other friends who are living outside to come back and work in Palestine? I was planning from the beginning when I left the country in 2004 to come back at, at a point. And I thought that it would be good to go outside, get some uh, higher education, and do some experience in the Gulf and, and the UK. And I achieved all these things. And then I also decided that it's, it's good in terms of both family and, and business to come back to Palestine. It's the right time now. Politically, it's more stable. Economically, it's booming. And I think it's a very exciting time to be back home. Interesting. So you're saying it's politically stable and economically booming? This is what I see compared to when I left Palestine in 2004. Things look so different. Even the landscape, you see a huge construction boom in town. You can see people are building uh, new banks, new residential buildings, new residential neighborhoods. You have uh, coffee shops, restaurants. Life is really going on, business as usual. In terms of politics, you don't see any of the clashes on the ground. You don't see. Um, any obstruction even from the checkpoints are even less. It's, uh, it's just the harassment of going to Jerusalem in and out. But moving around in the West Bank is really much, much better. So I think it's the right time to be back. So do, are you noticing an increase in trading? Sahel is obviously a company where people buy and sell stocks. Are you noticing that in, through your business as well? To be honest, uh, Sahem is one of the top brokerage firms in Palestine and uh, I joined them to, uh, to expose what we do here to international investors. Mm -hmm. And because the operations here seem to be uh, working well as usual, we have the high net worth Palestinians and uh, private and institutional investors already trading. So the trading volumes are good, but our aim now is to expose such a good trading volume and, and good story to our investors outside Palestine and try to, to attract investors in the US, in the UK and other parts of the world to take our market as a, as a serious market. So tell me this, I live in Washington DC, if I want to buy Palestinian stocks in Jawal or Wataniya or, Tel or Patel, how do I do this? Can I do it on the internet? Do I have to call a broker? How do I... It's very great now because Every time you need to go into a market, a new market, especially this part of the world, you need a custodian a bank that, uh, that will facilitate the trading and open account for you. And it also gives you term, uh, some, some kind of transparency. Like in Palestine, for example, we have HSBC as the custodian bank. And anybody from all around the world can just register and uh, uh, send um, their details to HSBC, the branch in Palestine, and then they can trade easily. But I would like to also clarify, Fadi, that we have 41 listed companies on the Palestine Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very funny because when I was traveling uh, for Sanam, some people didn't even know that uh, we have a stock exchange that exists in Palestine. And it's, it's very interesting to inform people that we do have 41 listed companies, it's up and running, it's been there since 1996. We have Palton is a really large company with uh, over a billion dollar capital, uh, and we have Palico Holding with all its subsidiaries. We have different banks, we have different investment companies, construction companies, pharmaceutical companies. And the good thing is that we have even more companies to list, about maybe eight to nine by this end of this year. So we are expecting more volume, we are expecting more liquidity in the market, and also we are expecting the market capitalization of the Palestine Stock Exchange itself to increase. It's currently $2.5 billion, and we expect this to, to increase. 
Diala, thank you so much for joining us. I want to tell uh, Palestine Launch viewers that although we don't have the right of returns yet, we do have tremendous and very profitable uh, returns on investments through investing in Palestinian companies. I hope you will buy stocks in Palestine, help yourself, increase your wealth, and also help your people here. Thank you. And Diana, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much.